Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. As many as 14 students of Badarai Singhi Ashram School in Raigada district left the school hostel and walked around 25 kilometers to file their grievances on school and hostel mismanagement at the collector's office Saturday. 14 students ran away from the hostel at 3.30 a.m. Saturday and walked through forested area amidst the risk of wild animal attack to inform the collector about various issues prevalent in the hostel such as poor quality of food, education and harsh punishment measures. The seizure of unaccounted cash after income tax department raids against an Odisha-based distillery group and its linked entities is expected to reach Rs 290 crore, making it the highest ever black money haul by any agency in a single operation, official sources said Saturday. The tax department has deployed about 40 large and small machines to count currency notes and brought in more department and bank staffers to finish the counting process. 5T Chairman VK Pandian today inspected ongoing work under the Sri Jagannath Temple Heritage Corridor project. During the early morning visit to the Holy Town, Pandian also reviewed the arrangement for queue management and traffic control around the 12th century shrine for smooth and safe entry of pilgrims into the city. The Special Task Force of Odisha Crime Branch arrested two wildlife criminals and rescued a live pangolin in Raigada district Saturday. The duo was arrested following a raid by STF officials on Barampur Raigada Road near Akusingi Chowk under Padampur police limits. In a massive crackdown on the ISIS network organization, the National Investigation Agency Saturday arrested its 15 operatives during multiple raids across Maharashtra and Karnataka. The arrested accused included the leader of an ISIS module who was administering oath of allegiance to new recruits, a spokesperson of the Federal Anti-Terror Agency informed. More than 2.43 lakh cases under the POXO Act were pending in fast-track special courts as on January 31 this year, according to a research paper published by an NGO. In 2022, the number of such cases that resulted in conviction remained a mere 3% nationally, India Child Protection Fund said in a statement. The Assam government will conduct a socio-economic assessment of indigenous Assamese Muslims of the state, an official said Saturday. The decision was taken at a cabinet meeting chaired by Chief Minister Himant Biswa Sarma Friday. The Bahujan Samaj Party today suspended its Lok Sabha member Danish Ali for anti-party activities. In a brief statement, the party's Uttar Pradesh unit said Ali, MP from Amroha, has been suspended for anti-party activities. Telangana Chief Minister A. Revant Reddy Saturday launched two schemes, free bus travel for women and health insurance of Rs 10 lakh to the poor, which are part of the six poll guarantees announced by the Congress. The launch coincides with the birthday of Congress Parliamentary Party Chairperson Sonia Gandhi. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin Saturday announced Rs 6,000 cyclone relief to people affected by Cyclone Mijong. The assistance to people whose livelihoods were affected by the cyclone would be paid in cash by the government at the ration shops, the government said in an official release. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.